Hey guys, this message is going to be called a message or prophecy to the Israelites in this video. And first off, I want to say I've met some Muslims or Buddhists like they do. They really uh, are good people. They have good morals. They really haven't quote unquote sinned uh, like the fundamentalists go out preaching. Um, they have good morals. They've only been in a relationship with their partner or whatever their wife and have a family and are good people like they care for their students if they're a teacher or whatever and they don't go out they're not terrorists or anything like that and the israelites uh or the jewish people and judaism like some of the pharisees do keep the commandments and genuinely didn't want Christ to die like they believed in him I'm not saying like every one of them did or preaching false doctrine or whatever but you know I think you know maybe a couple of them weren't terrible people um but yeah just uh I want to talk about the Old Testament Isaiah 53 describes this really well what the Messiah would go through he would be tortured he would be scoffed he would be killed he'd be persecuted he'd be crucified he'd be violently tormented and he wouldn't be like a, a royal king or whatever like a lot of the people thought like if he's a king why isn't he wearing all these nice robes he was just kind of dressed regularly like a regular uh, jew if you will you know like the uh, jewish people but, you know, Isaiah 53 talked about this. Other books talked about, you know, the Messiah's coming. And the kings, uh, like, even Christ said he would, at a young age, he would speak so much truth, even the Pharisees and the Sadducees and all the religious scribes and elders and all those people, the priests, they were amazed at, like, how strong his doctrine was. Like, he would say, like, these profound very profound things that not even the elders came even close to saying he knew the scriptures that well but uh yeah all the kings like pretty much or rulers and stuff like they a lot of them at least they cared about their own flesh like they cared about money they cared about power they cared about greed uh i guess their belly greedy belly if you will um, they cared about idolatry. They, like the whole Old Testament's like I, Israel turning to idolatry and worshiping other gods, whether it's money or actually other gods uh, or idols or whatever. But, uh, you know, Jesus showed a, a completely different king than all of these. You know, he did not chase the flesh. He did not lust at, chase his lust or the lust of the flesh. He lived in poverty. He was oppressed, like Isaiah 53. He was oppressed and killed. And uh, I don't know about, like, but when it was, in this group, it was pretty intense what we talked about tonight, like the crucifixion. Like, they asked, what does it mean to be crucified? But it was like three hours he was on the cross being tormented. Like, to breathe, he had to lift himself up when he had nails through him. Like, it was, it's that intense what he went through like we as christians should really realize what he did and live out our lives for him you know and sacrifice everything to him and give glorify him um but like it's like all those black dots on the cross or whether it's blood or whatever but like you know that represented like our sins like that he was dying for he would die for the sins like the you know the sins of uh, the Jewish people and I hope I'm hoping some of the Jewish people are watching this because I've been preaching my heart out and writing to them um, because uh, they're God's chosen people like for me I'm not a Jewish I'm not Jewish I mean I'm kind of born again if you will in the spirit and I become a child of God like a Jew but uh you know whether you commit adultery or fornicate or just not obeying all these commandments like 
again, I think some things you're kind of human. We're all human. But, uh, you know, we need something to kind of... Christ died for our sins. So, like, when we come to him, it doesn't mean we can just, like, go do whatever we want, party and get drunk every night or whatever. But it means that, like, you know, if you do mess up or if you have messed up like you're it's grace like it's not the law it's it's kind of grace like he fulfilled the law through jesus christ did but like through grace you're forgiven so like if you stand before god on judgment day you won't be like you'll have a savior you know christ is your savior that like is there with you whereas if you don't have like if you're an israelite and you just throw stones at all the street preachers and kill them and you see them before god and then you're like uh what what did i do <laughs> you know like i think you need you know it's important to accept christ and you know again uh there are some good religious leaders that do are righteous and don't stone the christians and didn't persecute jesus but you know i think he covers up the sin like he died for our sins like he whether you believe this or not three days he was separated from the father like he loved the father more than anyone beyond more than anyone in this whole world like and he was separated and died and uh whether whatever you want to believe fundamentalist belief but he was separated from god in the ground like for three whole days he was separated and tortured and you know he he died a terrible death he didn't die in peace like some people christians die in peace and like you know on their deathbed like peacefully in their sleep or whatever but he died the complete opposite he was tortured he was tormented he was spit on he's stones thrown at him he was nailed like they nailed his skin to the cross like to you know to the cross like it's intense like i mean he the whole prophecy isaiah 53 people say the best scripture the lady in church today one of the church services i went to she said it's the best scripture but it's a powerful uh powerful in the old testament all the religious leaders that's like the best scripture like it talks about the messiah and jesus 110 or beyond percent fulfilled that uh prophecy and again if some of you are jewish and are judaism people watching this i don't expect you it may be hard the truth is hard like i think some of those israelites you know they slowly kind of came to christ like progressively came to him which it's kind of hard uh being in their shoes like but you know all that prophecy is true like the blood moon or whatever when he's crucified the sky was dark um but yeah when you're following christ if you don't have them like you have to report to god and the stories of the old testament when they had people like with moses when those group of people heard of god they're like we don't want to hear him because it was too intense so um i think it's important uh jesus christ is a uh, you know pretty important you get to report to him and you have his grace if you uh you know if you turn to him and get the holy spirit and that doesn't mean just go get drunk and do whatever you want i mean but it is a, a gift if you're repenting or of your wrongdoings or if you've done something wrong how big or small you know he's kind of that that safety he's there for you you know the holy spirit and everything so you don't have to report to god in the old testament you know there's times where he's angry and if he talks to people angry they 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 run they want nothing to do with him so uh, i think it's important to just you know have christ uh but yeah um father god just continue to be with all of us um lead more israelites to christ um through me or other people through my preaching and to you to bless all of us and thank you for lent and everything and please help us just keep sacrificing everything to you to live for you through your son jesus christ in jesus name amen all right uh god bless you guys uh have a very good night 
Um, I'm going to make some more videos and keep preaching because this is what I want for Len is to bring the Israelites to Christ. So thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.